In essential for any cleanup, these thirsty little squares of cellulose or melamine can be used for a lot more household tasks than just cleaning spills or dirty dishes. They can quickly and easily do double duty as fabric softeners, water bombs, toilet cleaners, and a whole host of other common chores. Today we'll demonstrate various tips and tricks for regular sponges and magic erasers that'll have you running to the store to buy more. Regular sponges are cheap and commonly made from cellulose wood fibers or foamed plastic polymers. They can usually be used over and over again. Magic erasers, also known as melamine foam, are pricier sponges that serve as mildly abrasive cleaners, but can typically only be used once. A two-pack of name-brand sponges will cost you four bucks, but you can order generic ones online for much less. This 100-pack was only six bucks. Both types of sponges have their pros and cons, and today we'll show you some of the best tips and tricks for both. Water balloons are fun for kids of all ages, but they can leave behind messy bits of latex rubber. Sponge water bombs are a cool alternative during those hot summer months. Cut several sponges into thirds and bunch them together with a rubber band or a hair band. Fluff up the edges, keeping the band in the middle, and you're ready for action. Water sponges are reusable, and you'll use less water and won't have to pick up all the little bits of balloon all over your lawn afterwards. When it comes to dishes, it's recommended that you wash non-stick pots and pans by hand. That's gonna help you avoid losing that non-stick quality but if you're often left with a nasty, greasy sponge, just fill a container with about two cups of water and then sprinkle and dissolve about one-fourth of a cup of salt directly into it. Place your sponge into the solution overnight, and when you grab it in the morning, it'll leave all the nastiness behind and your sponge is again ready for prime time. Oh my, what's this? A nasty sponge left at the bottom of your sink buried in dirty dishes. That's never happened in my household, said no one ever. In the past, we've told you how to disinfect your sponge by adding a little soap and nuking it in the microwave for about a minute. But upon further inspection, it's not recommended. Instead, sanitize your sponge by simply placing it in the dishwasher during your next load. Your dishwasher's hot rinse cycle will kill over 99% of bacteria and leave your sponge looking and smelling good as new. Nothing will wear down a sponge faster than throwing it at the bottom of your sink. It'll absorb moisture, germs, and all kinds of unpleasantries. Some people recommend placing a sponge in a binder clip and standing it upright to air dry. You don't need to use this trick if you fully wring out a wet sponge by hand. Get every last drop of water out so mildew and germs don't multiply. It only takes a few seconds, but can really extend the life of your sponge. Now we do recommend that you purchase a sponge holder that hangs and allows the sponge to drain for air to come through to it. Keeping the sponge high and dry when not in use is important for ensuring a long life and clean environment. Try this one. Use a sponge soaked in fabric softener in the dryer cycle to create a reusable dryer sheet. Cut the sponges in half and put them in the container. Mix equal parts fabric softener and water. To use them, take one or two halves, squeeze out the excess, and throw them in the dryer before your clothes. As you transfer the wet laundry from the washer, the excess solution will come mostly off in your hands. The best part is, you don't have to scavenge through the laundry pile looking for the used dryer sheet that's stuck somewhere else. Use a sponge between your wall and hammer when removing a nail to avoid leaving scuff marks and dings behind. However, if you don't use a sponge while removing a nail or you have existing marks on your walls or cabinets already, a handy melamine sponge should do the trick and remove most of the marks left behind. Cleaning your car is an important part of maintaining it, but cleaning dirt and brake dust grime off your rims can be quite a hassle. Start by dunking your magic eraser into water to kick it into overdrive, and then firmly swipe along the desired surface. Soon, the residue from your brake pads and dirt buildup will rub off and virtually disappear. Your rims will be left sparkling clean and ready for your next road trip. Is your bathtub or shower long overdue for a thorough scrubbing? When it comes to those hard to clean bathtub stains, sometimes Comet and Ajax just won't cut it. In the past, we've told you to mix a one-to-one -one ratio of turpentine and salt to scrub away with a sponge and then leave your tub looking new again. We've also shown you how to tackle that soap scum and nasty grime with a dish wand filled with half white vinegar and half liquid soap. It's quick and easy, and can even be accomplished while showering. Scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Although the dish wand method is great for daily use, try using a wet melamine sponge for those long, overdue deep cleanings. These magic erasers will remove grime, soap scum, and all kinds of other things from your bathtub or shower. The beautiful thing is all you need is water. They do take a beating once they're soaked in water and don't really last that long. However, it should only take a few to tackle your entire bathroom. You can cut or rip them into pieces to extend their use, but don't expect them to last like regular sponges. Now while we're still in the bathroom, let's remove that mineral deposit from the toilet that we all tend to avoid. Instead of using harsh chemicals, simply dip a melamine sponge into water, wring it out, and scrub away. There's no waiting for any chemical reaction with magic erasers. With just a little elbow grease, you should be able to remove any buildup in your toilet bowl and leave it looking shiny and new without any chemicals. 
You can also turn kitchen sponges into cheap, reusable ice packs in just a few basic steps. Start by soaking a sponge in water and place in a resealable sandwich bag. Try to get as much air out of the bag as possible before sealing it shut. Place the bag and its contents inside a second bag to contain any leakage. Now just toss that bag in the freezer for at least an hour. An alternative method ideal for bumps and bruises is to simply add rubbing alcohol or dish soap to the wet sponge. This will add a gel-like consistency and mold to your body better and retain a cool temperature for longer. Thank you so much for tuning in. Here's another great video for you to check out and make sure you're subscribed for more content just like this. We'll see you next time.